You know what really gets my gears grinding? Call of Duty WW2, released back in 2017, strutting its stuff on an advanced IW engine. But when it comes to the minimum system requirements, it's like they're handing us a lemon and telling us to make lemonade. Now, here's the kicker that confounded configuration file. It's as empty as a ghost town. Not a single valuable option in sight. But hey, you know us. That's never stopped us from trying to squeeze every ounce of performance out of our rigs. Time to dive into the trenches, my friends. First off, we're gonna set the game to 768p resolution with the render resolution at native. Everything else dialed down to the lowest. But here's the kicker, if that doesn't get you the performance you're after. Don't throw in the towel just yet. Now it's time to play detective with the configuration file. Head on over to your game directory, nestled under Players 2, and there you'll find the file called userconfig.cfg. This little file is your ticket to making some magic happen. You can change the in-game resolution from here, and don't forget to disable the SSR by adding zero here. Oh, and remember to put one here. Save those changes, and let's see what we've got. Now, I won't pretend it's a game changer, but you'll notice a smidge of a performance boost, not too shabby, right? But guess what? We're not done yet, my friends. Keep scrolling through that config file and you'll stumble upon two intriguing variables, LOD scale skinned and LOD scale rigid. These two variables control the draw distance in the game. Increasing their values brings objects closer while lowering them compels the game to render objects at a greater distance, essentially maintaining default settings. So crank them up to four, both of them. Honestly, I can't say I know exactly what these variables do, but hey, that's part of the fun. Feel free to experiment. And if you unearth some gold, share it in the comments. Now save the changes and you should be good to go. So, that's a wrap for today, folks. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and do your low spec pals a solid by sharing this video. Now you've got the lowdown on how to get Call of Duty WW2 running on those low spec machines. Until next time, it's bye from me. You hear what happened to Sergeant Percy? Moving out! <laughs>